It is 6 o'clock and you are in focus and our hearts are broken tonight because of the news over a 7-year-old girl being killed yesterday watching a boat race right there on beautiful Kent Narrows. A hydroplane boat in the thunder on the Narrows lost control heading into a turn during the last race of the day. It crashed into boats that were lined up to watch the race. The class of boats are capable of going at least 140 miles per hour. Witnesses say they just heard a lot of screaming and a lot of yelling. Learned about the causes and what we can do to prevent it in the future. Well, I think we have a beautiful sport. And it's good for people. We help children. We do a lot of good. And um, these things, unfortunately, you can plan all you want. Sometimes something terrible happens. Our prayers are, are with all the families involved. Um, we realize that as, as competitors, we take risks. And we don't expect the risk to go into our spectators. We, we just um, pray for everybody involved. Well, the Coast Guard continues to investigate this accident yesterday, and the family of seven year old Julianne Rosella tells us that she was the victim who died in that crash yesterday. Friends have already set up a fundraising page online as she leaves behind her parents and two older sisters. Today, we spoke to a witness who saw the boat crash into the crowd of spectators on Sunday afternoon, killing. Juliana and injuring three others. I jumped over and grabbed the one girl and uh, pulled her head up out of the water and another guy helped me pull her up on the, the back of the boat and then that other guy we pulled her up and then I saw the little girl float. If it hadn't hit my motor there was about 20 people next to me tied up it would have wiped them all out it would have taken everybody. Well, witnesses say the boat that crashed went straight into the crowd instead of making an expected turn. Jerry Mazel tells us that the driver of the boat that crashed seemed aware of the devastation information, and he just pulled off his helmet and just put his head right into his hands. We have an information on how you can help this little girl's family out right now, and the full story waiting for you right now at abc2news.com.